now let us create uh, other pod that means second pod uh, that pod we are creating uh, for checking pod to pod communication so again uh, we have created one yaml file pod curl.yaml curl is the name of the browser so api version v1 kind of object is pod metadata that means uh, we want to name this pod as a browser and specification containers name of the container is uh, going to be curl and here we are using one custom image vpn2411 slash curl it is the image that we are using and we are also specifying the image pull policy if not present that means if uh, uh, the image is not uh, present on that uh, particular node then only uh, pull that image if uh, image is already there then do not pull that image then uh, because uh, then we need to run certain command into this uh, um, uh, this uh, you can say uh, in this container otherwise uh, what will happen container will get terminated and if the container will get terminated then your pod will get terminated so uh, the command that we are running that means ss minus c echo pod running that means and uh, then we are specifying sleep uh, 7200 that means what will happen uh, this uh, the command will echo pod will uh, it will display the message pod running then it will sleep for 7200 uh, second that means almost for two hours this pod will be running so uh, specifying this command is very necessary if you want that uh, content should be in a running state so then what we are going to do we are going to create the pod kubectl create then the definition of the pod and specifying the minus f now when we are going to run this command kubectl get pod what was the name of our container uh, pod browser so we are specifying please give us the uh, information about pod browser because already one um, pod is already running so this is the second pod so here we want the just the information about uh, this uh, browser pod so what it is saying initially it will be in the status container creating and here it is not in ready that mean out of one container uh, none is running then after again after some times when we are going to run this command what it is going to specify it will uh, show that uh, uh, this is running so now let us uh, um, view this uh, uh, the, the yeah, uh, definition of an annotated uh, definition so what we are specifying api version api version to use kind of resource uh, it can be pod deployment or service in our case we are using the pod metadata about the resource pod name it is the browser describe desired behavior of the resource container name image to be used for the container and what is the image pull policy and command to be run in the container that means when the container will get created which command to run so that uh, um, what will happen it the container will go on uh, for running for 7200 second after that it will terminate then pod will also terminate so now if we are going to uh, view the how many pods are running so what we can say kubectl get pods oh wide so it is showing one browser pod is running which is having the address 10.244.2.2 and, uh, and where it is scheduled it is scheduled in worker2.example.com and earlier one web, web server pod was running uh, the address is 1.2 and it is running on uh, worker1 that means both the pods are running on uh, different pods or uh, different nodes now we want to enter into this uh, pod so what is the command kubectl execute interactive mode attach terminal name of the pod then ssh is the shell that we are specifying now it will take us into this uh, uh, this uh, browser pod and from there what we are going to run we are going to run this command curl minus r 
uh, mean please uh, show only the bytes from 214 byte to 240 e e bytes and which is the address here we are going to specify the address of our web server so from this port we are trying to access this port and where in this port we have entered interactively so when we are going to run this command what it is showing welcome to nginx but if we would try to assess by using name it will not work and uh, if you are to uh, uh, try to assess using container name it will not so that mean uh, we can assess by using ip address now exit what will happen the uh, this will get terminated that mean we will exit from the interactive mode now a graphical representation of two port running now this was the earlier port running 10.1 or 244 1.2 this was the address and uh, nginx alpine based web container was there at port was exposed so from outside the communication was not possible host to port or we can say node to port communication was possible now when we are uh, this is the our uh, second node worker2.example.com which is the head having the address 138 on which we created one curl container and uh, from by using which image vpn2411 slash curl this is the image custom image and what was the name of the browser uh, sorry uh, port browser and what is the address 10.244 0.2.0 again let us check this that so from this browser we try to assess this web server so from this this it was working that mean by default port to port we are able to assess that mean port to port communication is allowed from outside world to port it is not allowed from host to port it is allowed so this was the second container running now what we will do we will uh, create the third container also by using the um, another means so cat again we are specifying the uh, so we are creating one simple port again specifying that uh, version is v1 kind is port metadata that we name of the port is going to be simple and it will be based on alpine image and image that we are using alpine particular version again the um, uh, your pull policy is if not present mean if image is already there please do not pull that image if it is not there then pull then we are again running this command uh, so that uh, our container should be in running state then only pod will be in running state then what we can do kubectl create minus f now we are able to create that third pod what is it is saying pod simple created and we can view the information about that port kubectl get port if we are going to say kubectl get ports it is going to show you all the three ports but here we are interested in which port the port that currently we are creating so we are specifying slash simple so it is again saying container that mean immediately after running this command when you are going to run this command then it will show the status if you have run the command after 2 minutes you are running then it might be already in running state so it is showing container not ready so after some time again when we are going to run it is showing that our this simple port is also running and uh, uh, if we want to get the detail so how we can create the to get the detail kubectl get ports avoid so this is first con first port that we created that was a second this data and what is the address 10.244.2.3 worker to that mean in uh, ports will be scheduled according to the earlier load resources available automatically kubernetes is going to schedule uh, the ports um, according to its policies now we want to enter into this um, uh, third port again what is the command kubectl execute it simple it is the name of your uh, port then ssh and if we are going to run if config eth command it is showing the address 10.244 2.3 
this is the address and uh, we can ping from from this board from which board we are trying to ping web server board ping is working uh, when we are saying ping minus c2 it is sending two packets to this uh, your uh, port now uh, this uh, web server so it is saying that successful and uh, we can use uh, wget command for varying whether the web server is working or not so when we are saying wget 10.244 one point and please remember this is the address of our web server where nginx is running so again it is downloading that page that mean this is also working ping is also working so if you have to graphical represent the three ports running how we can represent that mean this one is our web server port which is running on worker1.example.com and these uh, second and third port they are running on worker2.example in your case uh, um, scheduling of node might be a uh, scheduling of port might be different Uh, these two might be running on this this might be running so according to uh, your just check or if you uh, want to create graphic representation just uh, view by using this command uh, this uh, kubectl cat port minus o wide it will sh show you where those ports are running and what is the address so here now what it is showing from this um uh, 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 port we are able to assess this so that mean from port to port communication port to port communication is possible but from outside it is not possible from host it is possible and please remember this was nginx image based container this is again uh, we have used a curl container this is from another image container that is alpine so that mean now we launched the second and third container and we have seen that port to port communication is by default allowed